I'm Officer Washington with the St. Louis County Police Department's Public Information Office. This critical incident briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting involving an officer from the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department that occurred on March 3, 2023 near the intersection of McLaren Avenue and Main Street in the City of Jennings Precinct. As part of our commitment to transparency, we will show you relevant video footage, evidence, and the law enforcement response to this incident. Because this investigation is still active, our goal is to provide you with a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know up to this point. The St. Louis County Police Department conducts thorough use of force investigations, which typically require detectives to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. This portrayal is not intended to draw any conclusions about whether the officers involved acted consistent with their department's policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is finalized. Investigations involving uses of force could take several months to complete. A word of caution, the images you're about to see may be disturbing and you may hear strong or coarse language. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or to defend themselves or innocent victims against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. I'm Sergeant Tracy Panis, Public Information Supervisor for the St. Louis County Police Department. On Friday, March 3rd, 2023, at approximately 10.38 p.m., police officers assigned to the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department's Special Weapons and Tactics Unit, commonly referred to as SWAT, were conducting a patrol on Riverview Boulevard in the Baden neighborhood when they observed a 2019 Kia Stinger being operated in an erratic manner. When officers attempted to make a traffic stop, the driver fled. A Metro Air Support Unit police helicopter was overhead at the time of the incident. The flight crew monitored the path of the suspect's vehicle and announced its location to SWAT officers. A vehicle pursuit was not initiated at this time, but SWAT officers followed the directions provided by the flight crew at a safe distance. Several minutes later, the driver stopped near an apartment building at the intersection of Rosalie Street and Kings Highway Boulevard in the city of St. Louis. SWAT officers responded to the area. At approximately 10.42 p.m., the suspect left the area, at which time a tire deflation device was deployed by a SWAT officer. The deployment was successful. A second SWAT officer activated his emergency lights and siren in another attempt to initiate a traffic stop. The driver refused to comply violated a traffic signal, and fled west on West Florissant at a high rate of speed. A tactical pursuit was initiated by SWAT officers. At approximately 10.45 p.m., the suspect vehicle left the roadway at McLaren and Main Street in the city of Jennings and attempted to drive parallel to a set of railroad tracks. The vehicle was rendered inoperable, and the suspect ran from the car armed with a firearm. SWAT officers pursued the suspect on foot. While running, the SWAT officer gave the suspect repeated verbal commands to freeze and drop it. The suspect failed to comply. Instead, he turned and pointed the weapon at the officer. The SWAT officer fired his department-issued weapon, striking the suspect. He was taken into custody and officers rendered life-saving medical treatment to the suspect. He was transported to an area hospital for further treatment. Uh, Greg, AK-5, taking off southbound on Hall's Ferry, Schweitzer, a couple blocks ahead, he's taking off now. Heading up to West Florida, sir. Yeah, we're with you. Heading towards West Florida, sir. Still moving, he's passing on this guy on the left, or right. Okay, he's coming up to Florida, sir. Getting all the way over in the left lane, flick her on to go eastbound Florida, sir. Making the turn, eastbound West Florida, sir. He did slow down a little bit for a second, but he's picking it back up. Around Fillmore, eastbound. Around Clover, slowing down, brakes, spin heat. About Beacon, still eastbound, of course. Almost to Calvary. Into Calvary, nice. Into eastbound. Right. Highway, still east. Got a blinker on the turn, uh, southbound. One block east of East Highway. And he's black out, okay, so he's uh, southbound on, I can't get a straight or left. And he's going to be back 
westbound towards King's Highway on Ashby. Yeah, well, uh, squad car on King's Highway from that street on your left there, and then you can get through right there, but he'll be popping out at the end there. He's about mid-block, uh, heading westbound. And he is blacked out, so, uh, he's still coming. Pulling over to the north curve. Actually, he's just avoiding the, uh, the speed bumps there. The car stay behind that building so he doesn't see you. Okay, he's about two houses from the corner. And he's parking. Frank, go ahead and line him up, see if he moves for you. Still sitting there, we got him lit up, no change. Okay, he's pulling off, get ready. Spike, good spike. Alright, back westbound on force. Alright, westbound towards Calvary. It's gonna be continuing west through Calvary. Oh, Roseland King's Highway, keep working, I'm good, I gotta fuck with these spikes here, I'm messing with these spikes anyway. Alright, you're still westbound through, uh, like the rush or red now, picking it back up. Almost a river view. Car smoking, looks like. Yeah, it's smoking pretty good. He slowed down a lot, uh, tires going down. Is it river view? Still westbound, approaching Park Lane. Passing the BP, still westbound. Alright, approaching Goodfella. Alright, through Goodfella, still west. Alright, approaching Hamilton. Heading towards Jennings Station, you're gonna come up over there. Alright, through Jennings Station, still westbound. Slowing down quite a bit here. It's on the north curve. Alright, he's pulling over. Actually, he's gonna make that northbound turn. Looks like Main Street. This T's up here, guys. Be careful, he may not be able to make that turn. Alright, he's gonna be westbound on. Still Main Street there. Anybody still coming? He's, uh, he's heading towards McLaren. Alright, he's almost to McLaren at the tracks. He's going to turn, actually, down the train tracks, maybe. If anybody can get out to Lucas and Hunt, that would be great. He's bailing right here. Let's see. He's got a rifle. He's got a rifle. All right, we got him running westbound. Westbound and southbound, guys. Be careful. He's got a rifle. All right, he looks like he tossed a rifle back westbound on the tracks. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! We're taking him into custody on the tracks. The rest of the car is clear. We have some shots fired, stand by. Dispatcher, send some cars, Lucas and Hunt, McLaren. Clear. Start EMS this way. We have a black male. He's conscious and breathing. You are about to view relevant dash camera video from the St. Louis Metropolitan Police SWAT officer in reference to the incident. Body one cameras used by the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department have a 30 second buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back 30 seconds and begins recording. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer does not immediately activate the camera. The cameras are worn at chest level by most officers assigned to the Division of Community Policing and the Bureau of Specialized Enforcement. They capture a general perspective from that angle. Available lighting, movement, distance, and other factors can affect clarity and picture quality. The following body-worn camera videos are of relevant footage directly related to this incident. Because they got them lit up? Yeah. Uh, right, is that something that's going to... Yep, yep, he's going to spike it. Fuck. Careful, Oop, guys. they were waiting on us. Yep. <laughs> they got him? Spike, it's spike! <laughs> Okay, maybe it is. 
Fucking hydro point. Hey, Mix, remember to unlock my door, alright? bail out though of yeah. all these houses around so bad. This is a dead end. We're taking him into Stand custody. By. Somebody check that car. Mm. Be advised, shots were fired. The suspect is injured.
The suspect, now identified as Sean Gathing, 19, of the 3600 block of Ave de Paris Drive in the city of Florissant, Missouri, was charged with first degree assault of a special victim, armed criminal action, and resisting a lawful arrest, stop, or detention. Charges are merely an accusation and defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law. At the time of this report, Mr. Gathing is in custody and remains hospitalized. In total, the pursuit lasted approximately three minutes. A kel pistol chambered in 5.56 millimeter rifle rounds attributed to Mr. Gathing was located along the railroad tracks on the scene. The weapon contained 38 rounds of ammunition. In total, seven shots were fired by law enforcement. At this time, it does not appear that Mr. Gathing's weapon was fired during the encounter. The St. Louis Metropolitan Police Officer involved in this incident is 40 years of age with 11 years of law enforcement experience. No officers were injured during the course of this incident. The St. Louis County Police Department has all of its non-sensitive policies and procedures available on our website www.stlouiscountypolice.com. The policies applicable to this incident and release of information are General Order 16-68, Public Information and News Media Policy. The St. Louis County Police Department will continue to investigate and analyze this incident for as long as it might take. Detectives will continue to interview any new witnesses that may come forward and document and analyze new evidence that is discovered. After the investigation is complete, the findings will be forwarded to the St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office for an independent review. Thank you for taking time to view this critical incident briefing.